Tech Rabbit here. I thought we could have a look at the AC power supply assembly. Um, and first have a look at the um, box solution. So anyway, here's the box. I decided to make my own um, design. So we have the places for the um, amp meters, the two second switches for the secondary side and the fuses, and then the bananas. And our plugs will go in here. Side, and then we have the place for the fan and the place for the mains outlet. So let's have a look at that. Well, anyway, let's have a look at the box, which I have actually happened to have printed out already. So nice red color. And here's the front front panel. Also made some air intake holes at the bottom, and there's going to be support, like, or I'll put some pads underneath so it comes a bit off the ground. And then also have the um, power port. So the first thing is to uh, get rid of all the support material and um, see if the actually my design actually works, so the parts actually fit. So. Thank you. 
So, a little bit of an exciting test. Let's see if a meter will fit in there. It's gonna fit. Wow. Ha! It's actually gonna fit. I haven't unscrewed the, the nuts. I left the nuts on, so that's why. Take the nuts off. But it, it's gonna fit, so I think that's alright. And then the other one is a copy, so. Oh, I should probably. Confirm that both are gonna fit actually. So that's the first one. Mm. <sighs> Do the same thing, we take the nuts off. the biggest concern because these were the hardest things to measure like right, to get the measurements to be able to uh, put them in place but that's um, not that bad these two to test had some something popped out. I don't want to push these in yet because I think once I've pushed them in then um, they will <laughs> come out again. Or at least not very easy. So let's test this other. There's some crap left from the print. Oh well that'll fit also. So that's good. And then it was the Right, fuse holder. It's gonna fit. And that was the banana plug. Ah, the back 
backside. So that's the fan. I haven't even taken out the support material. Let's take away these bits that can drop out. should actually wear gloves to be honest. Need some water. It's summer here. Ice. Try not to run the air conditioning. <laughs> it makes so much noise.
there's some nest taking support material. This gets everywhere. It's like small, small springs. Oh, yeah. for the fan. But I did make these holes a little bit like large. So. Let's see if we can see it's gonna fit. Okay, I just need to go find some appropriate screws for that. And then it's the tricky one, which was really a nightmare to measure. This one. Oh, okay. A bit too big, which is promising. And the holes line up. Because I made it, like, I made it approximately this far. And then I add it, I think it was a half a millimeter or something on, about one millimeter on total, so as you see that it actually can be adjusted into place. Whew, so that reduces stress a bit, so, um, and then the transformer is just going to be bolted through. It's got a hole in the bottom. So, the, um, that bolt will screwed on the other side and then there'll be pads so it'll come up come up a bit. So anyway the next thing is to look into um starting to wire it. So anyway let's get into the wiring so we handle the transformer connections uh, first and um, we can um, thank Electro Dan for providing the um, connection diagrams for the uh, connection diagram for the transformer. And also we should um, heed his warning, um, you know, wiring the transforming voltages are, it's a bit of a dangerous operation, so if you don't feel that you're qualified and or careful about your work, then um, please ask somebody who is qualified and can do it safely to do it for you. Anyway, let's have a look at the, um, the diagram specifically for the transformer we have, and that's this one here, so the, um, it has two primaries, 150 volts each, and um, the wiring color coding matches, so we have to connect um, gray to, um, to violet, and then we bring in the uh, mains voltage on blue and um, brown. So anyway, here we have the transformer, and we need to put on um, bridge. Violet and gray, and already set up the device to help. It's not really nice trying to hold the wires. But
check. Yeah, it's very well soldered. Yeah. Anyway, and then this of course needs to be protected because touching something because that's going to have 150. In my case, that's going to have 115 volts on it. This has connectors. So what happens is that this is ground, the ground pin, and that won't be connected to anything since I haven't got a metal casing. And then you have the one mains, one live main coming, coming in, and then it goes over on a bus bar, and then it goes through the fuse and out there. Basically, the, these two are the input coming in, and I want them to go through the switch. And then the, the switch is actually, it's got two sides. One has the la light on it, which is these two connectors, and that's the incoming. So I want to do is, in, in, in my case, I want to uh, bridge that one to there, and then that one to there. connectors. So I was thinking of let's see what was the size to check. Now the color coding is the size of wire. So however that seems to be a good fit. So I'm going to actually use um, the red ones for that. one of these pliers then it's the, the red one you need to use to crimp it. cables basically. So these will go in there. Mm -hmm. 
perfect war. This will do. This is multi-core. Quite flexible. But it's not silicone wire. Not that we need that from here. It's not going to be high temperature. Warm as such. So let's say we make up. Um, has a separating plastic so Insulation, I thought it Good to test that they actually <laughs> actually won. So use this to crimp, but I like this one better for crimp.
channel is, you have to really watch it so that you actually don't, you actually do get the connector on the right place. So, you know, it's, it's harder to see when it has that protective casing, just to see that you plug it in correctly. when these are a bit protected with Sometimes does that. just falls asleep or something. That's to the excitement, I suppose. There you go. So now we have the jumpers on, and we can't connect these yet because we need to put the transformer in the box. logical phase to do next. I think that might actually be to to think where how are we going to connect up the um, rest of the cage? Basically we have a fuse and we have a double switch. So one of the cables will end up going to the fuse. one pair. So, okay, well, let's say the black will go to the switch directly. And red will go through the fuse. Here really, because it's 12 volts, there's really no need to have an extra insulated connector. So I think I will um, ah, this is always the case. Should I have the switch, the fuse after the switch? The good thing with having this fuse before the switch is that then, um, if this, there's an internal fault and sort of short circuit in the switch, then the fuse will blow. Or if any of these wires get short circuit, I think I'll do it that way. Uh, 
switch. Hold it a bit. Weird. Now you can see it. <laughs> Not really round though. Far from it. Try and make it a bit more round. Nearly flat. That's Or I'll have to resolve it. I think it actually went in, let's see. Yep. Oops, okay. Can test the crimp. Also, some messed up. Okay, uh, alternative one can move to the blue size. Yeah, I think I'll just move to the blue. Just check that. the red ones for this. Use the blue size. Actually the wire is probably a bit bigger because it's the secondary wire. Supposed to handle seven amps. Okay and then it's the orange wire. Something. Ah, this has got crammed. I was wondering that didn't look. It's probably in the transport. See how it's got bust up. So it's not actually in ah, super good shape. Thinking. 
So we need a wire to go between the fuse and the switch. And that does not have to be that long. So we'll argue that it's probably the same. I'm probably not even going to use the 7 amps. I'm probably going to put a fuse in at like 5 amps. I have no use for um, like maxing out the transformer. bring in the transformer wire and we put it on the end of there and then we, we are going to try and solder. Oh, it's fine. 
So, I know I said that the transformer wire would go there. One like that, so I think I might actually still be able to get it through the hole. We'll see. So now I intend to do the other other fuse the same. Look at it first. 
uh, and start the videoing again once I've figured out. Similar way that I actually added that one almost. Put those on there. Yep. So anyway, now I um, got the few fuse holders in, so now I tighten them down so they seem to be okay. Now I put the switch in here with. Um, one um, wire coming from the which is fused, and the other wire um, comes directly from the um, transformer secondary phase. And then this is the same deal here, so I'm going to connect in the switch. And these yellow wires, they're uh, I'm going to extract the power for the fan from this point. So this is like fused after the fuse. So if, um, if there's a problem with the fan, short circuit or something, then it will blow this fuse. The fan is fuse protected. And then I'm going to um, actually screw these these in place. So they uh, look like that. So two nuts. So it will go on with one behind with one washer and one nut. So I'll get those get those in place. Um, off camera. It's not that exciting to watch. And then I will start making the... Um, yeah, and I'll make the wire to jump from here to um, one of the outlets directly. And then the other one will go through the... Um, through the... Uh, the amp meter. So, anyway, I screwed in these terminals. Not yet connected inside. And then I put the other, the other switch. In. So now um, I need to create the wires. So one of these wires will go to through the amp meter to one of the terminals, and one of these wires will go directly to the terminals. And I'll um, get those made, and I'll be using the same kind of connectors here. And then, of course, here I have to. Now I'll use a different type of um, connector on that. And I um, think I might actually screw them also in. And then here's just the wires for the fan. Oops, that's so anyway, I'll get working on those wires first. So that was a little bit of serial production. So um, this is the because the, we have two um, two separate um, secondaries we have to cover. So these are the wires that go from the um, switch to the terminal. So from one side to the terminal, and then we have a set of wires where the, um, it goes from the switch to the meter input and then another one that connects the input uh, meter output to the uh, to the terminal. And I was actually thinking that one well, the next step would probably be to fasten the transformer on the bottom. No wait I need, no because that's not true. Because now I need better access to the 
Uh, can't show the term. See the terminals down there at the bottom, so I need access to those. So I won't connect the transform. I will bolt the transformer. So I will actually connect the switch uh, with these um, to all. The, I'll make all the connections to the switch, and then to the terminal terminals, and then I can push the switches in and position the transformer. I have to think in what order to do things. If I put the transformer in place, then it's going to be blocking the terminal, and make it harder to bolt it on because it has to be. I have to get. Um, uh, it come with three screws. Uh, but I actually don't need more than one. I think I can just connect it in like with one. Aha, but it was the locking, uh, the locking bolt, that's why it has to. But I don't know, I think it's probably unlikely that it's ever gonna, ever gonna lose it. So I might get away with one. Anyway, that's just to um, start connecting. I wonder if it will be better to put it on the terminal first and then plug it into the switch. Might be the best. Okay, so wish me luck. This is just going to be a little fiddling, and I'm going to have all my hands in the way, so there's really not that much to show, but I need to get. Um, that one on the terminal with, with that knot. So wish me luck. And I have to do it four times. <laughs> so check in the progress. Um, I was actually able to push the switch switch in, and it actually fits. <laughs> but it doesn't happen often for me. That things fit right away, but this actually I was able to push it in, but now I, I, I think it'll probably never come out without uh, actually destroying it. Anyway, so now I've finished the, the internal connections here, and now these are the two wires that are going to connect into the amp meter. So I'm going to do the same procedure with the other side, just here and get this located. Because then I think that we can... Um, and we have the wires ready for the fan, feeding the fan. So then I think I can actually... Before I put the meters in, I'm going to put fasten, or we will fasten the transformer to the bottom of the box. That would be the best thing to do. So, this side first, and I'll get the wires up like this. Fasten the transformer, put the meters in, and that will be the mains. Ah, just to put it in place. I need to go get a couple of screws so that, so that, that will actually fit. Okay, okay, next phase. So, anyway, the other switch went in. Okay, and I think the wiring inside is. It's okay with no short circuits, as far as I can see, and um, the switches still work, even if I had to manhandle them a bit, push them in. And they don't seem to be slipping out or anything. So. And, um, so, next will be to um, fasten the transformer. And it comes with this nice kit, so make sure if you do buy one of those toroidal transformers that it actually does come with the the actual uh, set, uh, fastening kit. Sometimes you buy, you can buy them, and they don't, they don't actually come come with this fastening kit. And that's very annoying because it's actually not. I mean, you could 3D print the holder or something, but it's not. It's um, much 
my circle. Man, that's hard plastic. So, yeah. so let's see. It's gonna be hard to show how I'm going to install these because it's such a small space. But I can give you the, give a general idea and show it when it's done. But I mean, it's basically so quite simple. You have a bottom pad, and then the transformer sits on top of that. And you have a top pad, and then you have this top holder. I'm actually going to have to check. I think it actually assembles that way around. But I will um, go look online. Got some pictures just to make 100% sure. And then you bolt it through. And then it has these nuts and washers and stuff to actually fast. So, I'll get working on that. So, that's the transformer fastened in. So, it's supposed to be that way around the holder. Um, and then the bolt just comes through the bottom. And then there's going to be. I'm going to put some legs on this so it's going to come up a bit. And I'll also do the to the vent holes that I have, I want them off the ground, off the surface. So anyway, so far so good. So the next phase will be to put in the actual amp meters. Oh, what was something dropped off. See, it doesn't matter which way around these wires go. Connect one, one way or the other. So. It's okay. And I will just work on putting those um, these very very small and they provide a lot of washers and stuff, but I think in my case it'll be good enough with No but it's the okay because we need four of them, yeah. Make sure I actually have them all at them. Um, no, but well that's okay. Everything seems to be there. So that's um, the task to <laughs> get the get them into place, and it's not not the easiest location to access. But, and then I will um, <coughs> connect the wires. So that's the amp meters installed. Not bad. Wiring. As it is now on the transformers on the bottom and bolt it down. And now I think I will um, before I start on the fan circuit and I will um, get the mains adapter installed and for that I need to go find some some appropriate screws. So that's the mains plug connected in and um, wired into the transformer primary. So anyway now it could actually be started up and tested but um, I think I'm actually going to finish the fan installation and um, I actually f found out that the, I uh, didn't have AC this wasn't an AC fan I remembered wrong so this is a 12 volt DC fan so I have to um, going to add a rectifier 
Uh, I'm thinking of adding a condenser for it, but um, it'll probably be okay without. So I'm going to make a ah, use that and create the DC from the AC and then um, yeah, configure this. And then um, I'll be gluing the sensor to the top, close to the top somewhere once I've figured out it actually works. So that'll be the next phase to um, fix the fan. So, oh, that's the fan connected and then wired in. So I just took a simple rectifier, so you, um, you bring in the AC in the middle and then you get um, minus and plus. So and then I've added the switch, the thermal switch. So once I've confirmed this is working, then I will just um, glue this thermal switch to uh, ah, probably to the back wall, yeah, near to the top. Or I'll just um, ah, somehow somehow tie it to some specific location. So anyway, that should be now complete. So the next phase is to um, test to see if it actually works. So anyway, I think it should all be together, theoretically speaking, so... Uh, try and connect with it. And the only question mark is that I have, I don't really have the correct um, uh, slow fuse in here, so it's uh, actually rated higher than what I would like to have it. So. First time. No smoke. So now I only have the primary side active. So, uh, this indicates that the fuse hasn't blown in there. So this, it was able to handle the surge currents. So I'll just wait a little while to see that it doesn't. I mean, the probability of it starting smoking the transformer is quite small. You know, you know. Always. Um, is a bit reserved when it comes to main power stuff. So anyway, that looks pretty much okay. And then, um, oh, I suppose I have to this way. So now we're just going to do uh, to try and switch on the power on one of the circuits see that we get the correct voltage, so I'm not going to try and load it. And um, if there's a short circuit in my wiring, then the, it'll either blow the main fuse or it'll, um, it will... Um, or something so then you get should actually change the range. Some meters are a bit too sensitive, so I'm not saying that it's picking up two volts AC. But that's um, yeah, kind of not really realistic. Um, anyway, we have to try the other 
circuit also. So I would expect that to be if the nominal is 12, so I'm not that disturbed about that. And plus it's as I said no, no low. So anyway, that's okay. Now I would actually like to see. Ah, so the last um detail <laughs> I actually forgot is to actually get the um ah, uh, pick up the four screws and then screw the top panel on. Then it'll probably be done. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing and it helps the channel. Uh, hit the like button if you thought it was worth it. Merch is available. Um, or you can just buy me a cup of coffee. The links are in the description. And um, all the contributions will go to the developing the, the channel and building more projects. And uh, see you in the next one. Oh, just a little bit of a bonus. Anyway, this is the cover now on, and then I actually forgot to to show this here. So I've actually padded this, get it off the off the um, the, the surf bottom surface because of the, um, the the bolt through for the transformer and then the ventilation holes. So it lift, lifts it up so it doesn't doesn't scrape anymore. That's fixed.